Welcome to the Sewing Hope Podcast. This is a show all about implanting hope in our hearts. I'm Bill Snyder, joined by my friend Ann DeSantis. We're glad you're here for our uplifting conversation about faith and how it sustains our hearts through all the seasons of life. Thanks for walking with us. And hello, everybody, and welcome to the Sewing Hope Podcast. I am Bill Snyder, and as you can see, I'm always joined by my good friend, Ann DeSantis. Uh, we are here wrapping up the Marion Summit on today's episode, which was quite amazing, Ann. And uh, thank you so much for everything you did to help put it together. And uh, I'm so excited to be here with you on Sewing Hope and chatting about it today. Yeah, I am too, Bill. It just went all too fast. But the good news is when you do something like this, which is on YouTube, that it's, it's still there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's And there so forever. people can go and watch it. That's what we wanted to do on this podcast was one of the first and foremost things is just to invite you that if you missed the Marion Summit Hope for Families is that you can simply go to the Patchwork Heart Ministry YouTube channel and you can subscribe. That's probably the best thing that you can do so that you can get updates on this podcast and also other great podcasts. And go to the playlist and you can see the, the Marion Summit, which are 25 videos there for you to watch and learn from. And I, Bill, I think we put together a list of wonderful Catholic authors and speakers, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, I, I want to, uh, you know, give a big shout out and thank you to all the speakers uh, that spoke at this summit. Uh, you know, and each of these are digestible bites. Is what you know. They're they're not too short, but they're not too long. You know, between seven, I think, was the shortest, and about the longest was, uh, what, uh, about twenty minutes or so. I think I might have been the longest talk, uh, but you know, they're they're like digestible little bites that are all about the Blessed Mother. That you know are are approaching the Blessed Mother from all different angles. So uh, we encourage you to do that. And I want to just give a quick. Um, you know, update that we did add Christina Simmons last night. Her video uh, had some technical issues, which is the reason why I missed putting it in the summit while it was live <laughs> uh, on, on one of the live nights. Uh, her video had a technical issues and my computer just completely skipped the file. So Christina, uh, your video is up there uh, if you're watching this. But beyond that, uh, it is now available on um the the day two playlist so we have seven speakers we like to have 21 speakers because it you know keeps everything nice and even each of the days uh you know with with seven talks each night um of of these summits so uh christina you've been added tonight two or the part two of the summit so uh please go check out her video since if you watch the summit uh, previously but you definitely missed that video if you watched it last week because uh, Christina's video is not in there, and it's amazing. I just listened to it again. So please uh, check out her her uh, YouTube video for the summit as well. But yeah, I mean, what an, what an amazing what what an amazing summit there, and it really was um, so so beautiful and so wonderful to just. I mean, I I grew in faith. You know, I got the chance to really grow in faith and learn a lot. Right. Oh my gosh, I did too, and I watched all the talks. Admittedly, I haven't seen Christina's yet, and. I do have a correction for what I said earlier. So instead of 25 videos, we have 26. Now, of those 26, it includes a couple ads, right? Some yeah. ads for uh, the St. Raymond Anonis Foundation, Patchwork Heart Ministry, Fiat Ministry Network, and the intros and everything. So um, now I'm looking at it right now on my phone. And uh, just to name a few, I'll just give you some of those speakers. The, the headliner was uh, the most reverend Donald J. Hying. He is the bishop in Madison, Wisconsin. We were just so blessed that he wanted to be a part of this summit. And in addition, we have two Mercedarian priests from the religious order that I represent, Father Daniel Bowen and also Father Ken Breen, myself, Bill Snyder, William Hemsworth, Dr. Maria Moray, um, Janelle Paragoy of the Diocese of San Diego, Liz Montigny, Jennifer Sinclair, our own Jennifer Sinclair from Fiat Ministry Network, Caroline Godin, uh, Allison Jingris from Catholic Mom. I mean, I'm just naming a few. There's a lot more than that. Um, all you need to do is just to go to that playlist. And, you know, we talked about in the beginning when Bill and I did a podcast discussing the, the idea for the summit is we wanted to do something in honor of the Blessed Mother for the month of May. You know, we're still in the month of May 
taping this podcast in May of 2023, and each speaker brought something different to the table. You know, some did catechesis, some did personal sharings, some talked about different apparitions. My talk was on charisms of Pope Francis having to do with the Blessed Mother, some of his quotes that he's discussed and, and did in his homilies and some of his writings. So there's so much more. Now, Bill, you did a talk on giving your personal best. <laughs> Honestly, I think that was one of our best talks. Just tell our viewers a little bit about that talk and how did you come up with that idea? <laughs> how did I come up with that idea? Uh, <laughs> Uh, honestly, I was scrambling. What am I going to talk about, Blessed Mother? Because I've, because I've done a lot of different, uh, you know, things with the Blessed Mother. I've been to Marian conferences. I've been to Medjugorje. Uh, was I going to share about Medjugorje? Was I going to, uh, you know, what was I going to be talking about? And uh, I just, I just um, prayed about it for over a couple of days because I really had absolutely no idea what to talk about. And uh, the the Blessed Mother, the Holy Spirit, uh, put this story on my heart about throwing discus in high school. And I was like, okay, what does that have to do with the Blessed Virgin Mary? And uh, well, it turns out that I had thrown uh, a discus farther, uh, th farther in competition than my than my previous competition. Every single time my sophomore year, I only threw discus one year. I stopped throwing uh, in junior and senior year. It was just too crazy, and I was no good at it. <laughs> but uh, but it was amazing. I threw a personal best every time I was on the on the um, on the I guess field, you know to discus discus field or discus course and so uh, i i just thought about how the blessed mother had to give her personal best to god every single day uh you know yeah did she have a leg up absolutely she did you know she was she's perfect she's sinless all of those things um and was preserved from original uh, original sin um through the immaculate conception but when you uh, think about uh, think about it, she still had to cooperate with God's grace throughout her entire life to avoid personal sin. And so she gave her personal best to God every single day. Uh, and so what does that mean for us? And that was just kind of the, uh, you know, quick little overview of my talk. But uh, go in and watch uh, the full talk on the playlist. Uh, you know, share, these, the other thing I'll just say is these things are highly shareable. Um, and uh, from, from, the statistics of just what happened, I just want to give that to, to people who are watching on our YouTube channel, uh, maybe for the first time, uh, something other than the summit. Uh, you, you were amazing. Uh, the, the analytics on YouTube are through the roof. They are through the roof. Uh, we have over uh, uh, 1,500 views during the three days or four days, um, if, you, if you count that fourth day carryover. Uh, from the third night, uh, we had over 1,500 views of our channel. Uh, the watch time, so, you know, that, that's the other thing you look for. Okay, you know, are people just tuning in for like 30 seconds and, and tuning out? Like, okay, this is, you know, lame and boring. Like, you know, no, it was, it was in consistently in the 10 minutes, 15 minute range uh, of, for, for these talks. So that means that people are watching, you know, the majority of the talk, or maybe what they're doing is they're pausing it, coming back at a later time, watching more. So our, so our uh, statistics were really, really strong. And that's a um, kudos to you, kudos to our YouTube audience. And I want to thank you for that because, uh, you know, that means it's meaning something, you know, to you. It's hitting your heart. It's changing your lives. Uh, and then uh, hopefully you're carrying the messages forth out into, you know, your back into your parishes, but share the videos. Right. I mean, take it one step further. I think we had uh, like I think there was something like 34 or 35 shares, which is wonderful. Uh, but imagine if we multiply that. Imagine if those uh, videos just go absolutely everywhere and then they become viral uh, so that people can really, you know, encounter the Blessed Mother. And those people who have doubts and questions and, you know, like, OK, maybe maybe one of your friends is Protestant. And one of these videos was able to really touch your heart. I think of William Hemsworth video because uh, he converted to Catholicism. And so he had some really great points about, um, about the Blessed Virgin Mary and, 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 and the debates in the early church. So, you know, share these videos with people who you think need them um, and, and help people grow and evangelize. I mean, it's the easiest thing to do. I say it all the time. The easiest thing to do, Anne, is to simply click the share button. It's evangelization. It's evangelization to click a share button. You know, be like, like in the early church, 
It wasn't that easy. People were like traveling hundreds of thousands of miles across the world uh, to, you know, to spread the gospel. Now with the Internet, it's very simple. You just click the share button. So uh, go ahead and click that share button. Send it to your family and friends. Uh, it's going to be um, a great way, to, especially as the month of May wraps up, to just share the message of Mary and what she means to, to, to you. Absolutely, Bill. Thank you. Thank you. And the thing that I really love about the summit is that it's such a nice collection of talks. I just can't say that enough. You know, Bill was talking about, you know, how a lot of people were watching and they weren't just watching it for like 30 seconds. They were watching the videos. They were really watching them. And that's a big thing when it comes to airtime because it's hard on, on any kind of Internet. These days, people watch TikTok videos that are like 30 seconds long. So anything that's longer than that, you know, you're lucky that they hang around. So I think the fact that we're keeping the audience is a big thing. But I would just say, please do, again, go to that Patchwork Heart Ministry YouTube channel and watch these talks. You know, you might not be able to do it all at once because there's 25 videos, 26 videos there for you to watch, and it's going to take you probably a few days. But take the time to do it because this is May, and this is a special month to really honor Mary. And I have to give Bill credit because it was his idea to do this. It was his idea. We did the Eucharistic Summit back in December. And that was uh, mid-December of 2022 that we had all, over 20 Catholic authors and speakers join us with our headliner being Bishop William Byrne from the Diocese of Springfield, Massachusetts. So still so grateful to him and to all the speakers who, who came together for that, too. But this Marian Summit, when we announced it, so many of those speakers came back. They wanted to do it, something again. And when we told them that it was about the Blessed Mother, they were very enthusiastic about it. So um, I think now is the time for all of us to realize that, you know, Mary really is our greatest saint. She really is because she was the mother of God. And some people who watch the summit, maybe they didn't have that catechesis or knowledge of her. If you watch this Marian summit, you are going to get that proper knowledge of the Blessed Mother. If you didn't know that much about her, by the time you finish watching that summit, you know you're going to know a lot more. So I'm really excited, too, about the future because Bill and I have decided that we are also going to do more summits, aren't we, Bill? <laughs> yeah, and definitely. let's talk. Yeah, let's talk <laughs> about that because I know that some of our speakers have put forth ideas about us doing maybe one on God the Father, maybe one on the Holy Spirit. So yeah. there's more to come when it comes to these these summits. Let's talk about it, Bill. Yeah, no, certainly. You know, there's there's a lot of different models. You know, even St. Joseph, um, you know, is another one that we can do with just, uh, you know, for, for men, we kind of did Mary. So, you know, maybe do St. Joseph. You got the Holy Family, of course, uh, represented there uh, through the Eucharist, Mary, uh, St. Joseph. But yeah, the Holy Spirit Summit, uh, that's, a, that's a big thing uh, as well. And of course, as you mentioned, Dan, doing uh, the, uh, you know, the other one on uh, what 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 was it again? What else? What was the other one you mentioned? Uh, the God the Father. God the, the Father. Holy Spirit, that's right. Yeah. And then you said that's right. Saint Terry Joseph. Modica. Yeah. yeah, they're great ideas. Yeah, I mean Terry. Really great ideas. That's right. Yeah, I mean you know Terry Modica um, was mentioning God the Father because uh, because there's you know there's endless possibilities. I mean you know the church is so rich, right, Anne? I mean it, it's so yes. rich with with tradition and history and saints. I mean, you could just do one on, uh, you know, the model of the saints. I mean, there's so many different opportunities to explore our Catholic faith. And I really like this model, right? Like I, I, like I like this model of what we're doing because as we kind of mentioned, it's a little bit successful and it seems to be growing on itself. Uh, and, um, and, you know, we, we are able to put these on and be able to put them on uh, for for no cost, which I think is also huge when you look at when you look at our three organizations, three small nonprofits to be able to put them on uh, for free uh, for people to um, you know encounter the love of God in their hearts and make the, and make Catholicism more real in their lives every day. So I mean, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I definitely want to do more. You know, I think we can, I, I, as we often say, you know, about every six months if we can do two a year. Um, you know, every six months we do we do one. That would be um, a a huge a huge win for our ministries and a huge win for our audience because they're going to be growing and learning and uh, encountering 
um, different aspects of Catholicism so that they can spread the word of you know, God better in their hearts and communities and lives. Yeah, that's right. And that's what it's all about. And um, I also want to thank you, Bill, because when we d- talked about doing this one, I said, me being the executive director for the St. Raymond Onatus Foundation, where we make the pastoral outreach to families in crisis, um, it was both of our idea to put it as Marion Summit and then a colon, Hope for Families. And a lot of those talks were geared for those families in crisis. And I'm so grateful to that. Now, the the mission of the of Patchwork Heart Ministry is having to do with reaching out to young people. By that, I mean, you know, teens and young adults. And of course, Bill and I wrote the wonderful book, um, Hearts Burning Within Us in 2021, which was all geared for them. But, you know, those families in crisis include the younger generation, don't they, Bill? I mean, I think it's important for us to remember that, that it's really a combined effort of these three ministries. That would be St. Raymond Anatis Foundation, Patchwork Heart Ministry, and Fiat Ministry Network. When we come together, we're able to reach so many more people. And I think that's the beauty of what we're doing is how we can make that pastoral outreach in the greatest of ways to people who are in crisis. And I think that our speakers really did an amazing job of that. Um, I did pull up an article just now that as we're kind of ending this podcast of nine ways to celebrate the month of Mary. And that is May. (laughs) And this is from a a, a website called goodcatholic.com. And I thought before we end this podcast, Bill, maybe I'll just kind of run through these things that we can all do to honor Mary. And Mm -hmm. I'm just going to read them out, and maybe we can discuss it after I read them. Um, The first way is to flower your Mary statue. So if you have a statue of Mary, whether it be at home, at church, is to place flowers around it. And this is such a great time to do that since it's May. Um, Number two is to pray a novena to Our Lady. I mean, there's all kinds of novenas that you can pray. Um, there is a website that this one is recommending to, if you just Google Novenas to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and I'll say it again, Novenas to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, you can just Google that and find out more. The third way that we can love our Blessed Mother during this month of May and beyond is to spread the devotion to the rosary. And I also want to congratulate one of our speakers who is Allison Jingris of Catholic Mom and Reconcile to You is that she talks a lot about the rosary during her talk on the on the Marian Summit, so please do check that out. Fourth way is to learn about a new Marian devotion. Of course, there's all kinds of Marian devotions. A few of them would be Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Sorrows, Our Lady Undoer of Knots, which of course Pope Francis, he's a big fan of that one, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, so there's so much. I mean, these aren't new ones, But you can certainly learn more. And I would just say, again, just put that in your search engine. The fifth way that we can honor Our Lady during the month of May and beyond is to share the Miraculous Medal. You know, the Miraculous Medal is something very special that we can wear, a way that we can honor Mary. And I know that uh, organizations such as the Legion of Mary, they're always promoting that Miraculous Medal. So I would say learn more about the Miraculous Medal at my church. And I think a lot of the parishes, we do the novena to the miraculous medal and of course in philadelphia we have the 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 shrine the the minor basilica i should call it to the miraculous medal in in philadelphia so please do check that out sometime they're good friends of mine and good friends of the saint raymond onatus foundation i even did a couple videos a few videos for the the miraculous medal shrine and you can go to their youtube channel to watch those videos Hmm. at the i believe it's the Basilica Shrine of the Miraculous Medal. That's all you need to do. Number six is to memorize a Marian prayer or hymn. Of course, the Hail Mary is the greatest prayer to Our Lady, but there's all kinds of other ones. There's the Regina Chaley, the Salve Regina, all kinds of other prayers and memoiri. So please do learn more of those Marian prayers, but most of all the Holy Rosary. Seven is to get invested in a scapular. There's the brown scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And of course, I'm a Mercedarian. I'm a third order Mercedarian. You can get invested in the Mercedarians. So you can reach out to me if you're interested in learning more by going to director.srnf at gmail.com. That's my email address. Or just simply go to tunonatus.org on the contact form. I can learn more there. Um, And eight is to read a book about Mary. There's all kinds of Catholic books on Mary. 
So please do learn more there. And the ninth way, which is the final one on this article, is to pray the office of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I know that, again, the Legion of Mary highly recommends that. You can put in your search engine, little office of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and learn more. So I just wanted to give those ways that we can honor Mary, not just during the month of May, but also right now and beyond at goodcatholic.com. The name of the article, of course, was Nine Ways to Celebrate the Month of Mary. So, Mm. Bill, thank you so much for getting together with me for this podcast because you're a busy guy. You're going to be traveling. (laughs) And so you took the time to do this podcast with me before you leave for your trip. Oh, no, absolutely. You know, uh, the Holy Spirit puts, um, you know, wonderful projects uh, into our all of our ministries. And so uh, stay tuned to our YouTube channel because we're going to have some exciting things coming up uh, on on it this week. Uh, so please stay tuned to our YouTube channel as well. I, I don't want to mention exactly what they are at this moment um, just because we have to work out the finer details and when they're going to be. But uh, especially if you follow our channel, uh, you know, subscribe because you'll get some notifications. They're going to be uh, discussions um, around the faith, uh, roundtable discussions around the faith, um, and it's going to be pretty powerful. So uh, we're we're looking forward to doing those and and broadcasting them live. So uh, please check out uh, our you know YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, and. Uh, go follow, friend, and like us on all those other social media channels as well. So, uh, And thank you, as always. This is an uh, amazing uh, pleasure to be able to uh, talk about the, another successful summit. And as we alluded to, there will be many more. So uh, thank you for everything. It's going to be uh, going to be wonderful. Yes, Bill. I'm so grateful. Looking forward to our next episode of Sewing Hope. So stay tuned. Absolutely, folks. Until next time, from all of us here at Patchwork Art Ministry, may God bless you. Keep beating to those Catholic hearts. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to this episode of Sewing Hope on Patchwork Heart Radio. For more information about this podcast and our ministries, visit our websites, patchworkheart.org and andesantis.com. You can also follow and interact with us on Twitter at PWH Ministry or andesantis2.